Howdy everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Witch 3. Akforens here and... Wait, I haven't seen that girl before. Where was she when Geralt is performing? Well, uh, never mind. Today is all about Geralt and friends. This time, Deadlion. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Forte? What's that say, supposed to mean? Really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. A coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. Not sure if I want to help him or not. He seems determined, but I have to know why. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenfree. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. If you need that money so bad, why don't you save it in advance? How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her! Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? Oh. You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Strange. This style of option is different. Sorry, Dandelion. Maybe later. You always say that. If you change your mind, I'll be here. I see. That actually is from Geralt's own mind instead of my choice. Interesting one. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harold, the annual balladry contest. We faced off at the final. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she'd caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Sneaky bastard. Wanna take advantage from her? Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run-of-the-mill girl. Give her a smile. Notice her shoes. Let her chat about them a bit. And she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. Try to remember your love first, will ya? Gotta tell me. How do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> 
You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, Horson Sr. himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelford I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes, those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful. I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. What did you want from Sophronia? Slipped my mind. Geralt, I want to transform this esteemed establishment into a first-class cabaret. And that takes funds. Enter Sophronia. I remember now. Gotta help you convince her you're trustworthy. Exactly. And to do that, we need a sword from Madame Arena Renard's prop collection. So, will you help? Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Meet him at the sunset. Great. You know, we still have plenty of time to do other stuffs. Uh, but I just cannot think of what kind of other stuffs are. You know, the upcoming episodes is all about Geralt and friends in Novigrad, so I just cannot think of what kind of other things. Of course, I'm not gonna film the other side missions. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? I don't know. You will see when you get there. This Geralt and Friends section will take me a couple of episodes to film, of course, and I just cannot tell you when will I sell to Skellige. You know, all the walkings, I mostly remain silent, you know, uh, barely talk, so that's why I cut it. Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props, one of the swords you use for stage battles. My, whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Au revoir. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Voila! Sounds odd to me. I'm not a French lover, I have to admit that. And I'm glad that she's not Italian. If she was, um, I'm pissed. You know that uh, without Italian, French won't become like Shakespeare. And the French should be grateful for that. But they didn't. And that's why um, I kind of started to hate French. If there's any French audience here, sorry about that. I'm just saying what I think of. I don't hate you, alright? And it's time to go to Tris place. Although Junior went quiet, I can still encounter his men. Not in a mood to fight, so piss off! Glad that he has given up chasing me. <laughs> that would be a problem. Yeah, I can beat him, but you know, I'm not in a mood to fight. And how's Tris doing, I wonder. But first, I gotta change my outfit first. As you can see, all of my equipments are relics, except that crossbow. And we're going to attend the ball, so no weapon needed. And then change that outfit. Although Geralt doesn't like it, but yeah, you have no choice, Geralt. You finally move in with him. High time. Maybe I'm too early to arrive. It's still at the morning, almost noon. But <laughs> the ball attended at night. 
Uh, whatever the case, I'm still curious how Tris doing. She's doing well for herself, and oh, yeah here. Woohoo! Damn, she's beautiful. Looks fine that dress. Oh my! Certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare! You look great. You get everything? Tell me about that Albert first. Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? <laughs> Seems like Tris never seen Geralt dressed up so formally. It never happens in the previous games, which are 1 and 2. Hmm? Well, in the other case, uh, we're going to the ball. <laughs> it's too early to arrive her home, and then a uh, Fagel Boots estate. I cannot wait to go in. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. Now, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Good for her. She wasn't so happy first time we met her. And then, you know, she kinda cheered up now. And I kind of feel better in my heart. Not gonna talk too much. Uh, like you, I wanna feel the atmosphere in this estate. So, I will let all of us have it. Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Get your stupid ass back home. Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. Huh? Come back, you coward! What a jackass. He's drunk. You don't see that? Come on. They should throw these kind of balls more often. Intolerance and superstition have always been a fool's remit. Your reputation precedes you, Geralt. I'm the Kraken! Oh, my. Greetings. My, is he ever sorted? Can't breathe. Don't do that again. <laughs> Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. 
<laughs> Go kiss my ass, Moritz. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Diefenfell. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. Gregor, have you seen Durgoth just a moment ago? Oh, apologies, I mistook you for my friend. He wears a similar mask. Our old buddy, Mofran. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so... Oh. I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. You as well. Enjoy the party. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible laugh from Dextra. A, a pick bass! <laughs> How appropriate! Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all! How do you recognize me? <laughs> Your voice, unmistakable. Oh yes, those famous witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuven. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Yeah, I will leave you be, Dextra. It's time to go to Ingrid. We had enough fun tonight. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. 
How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Not our guy wears a parrot mask. Hmm. How about the others? Uh, they wear a parrot mask too? No, not in this circle. We want to look around some more. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. And then a colossal boom. Oh! And? And? Nothing. I leapt out of the way in time, naturally, and it merely singed my eyebrows. Alchemy can be a dangerous sport. Oh my! One needs the agility and reflexes of a panther. Rawr. Glad that we heard that in advance. Yes. He's our guide, Albert. Nice mask. Rawr. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> I am a black panther. Oh my count. <laughs> Mr. Panther. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes. When can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. <sighs> Something is more intense. It's coming! In this scene, I don't want to cut too much. Maybe uh, three to five cuts is sufficient. Okay, here's our spot. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You don't know why? You are a public figure. Remember that? You were as a cover girl on Folk Poland. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. 
inchu inchu bag broga, inch by inch little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Oh ho ho ho! I love her even more, you know? Uh, that face is irresistible, even though she's not talking with senses. Uh, I'm coming, baby! Gerald, coming? Yes, yes. We'll soon return. No one's even let us look on. <laughs> Careful. Look at this scene. Beautiful and magnificent. Let this moment freeze as eternal. If only I can. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Glad that Albert didn't spoil the mood. Or else I gotta punch him in the face really hard! Albert! You promised to show me your laboratory! There you are, my love. Here you are. So, about this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <laughs> Doubt it. Witch hunters. Glad that Albert and Geralt switched mass in advance. Oh, shit. Uh, fighting several enemies with your fist is not a story with your sword. You know, I kind of struggle to find a way to defeat them, you know, effectively. One to one fist fighting is a big problem to me. I can handle that, but you know, uh, three guys has already trapped me into trouble. Let's end this. Yes, this guy's down. Only you left. I don't deserve your pussy. You <laughs> cannot even fight a guy on your own. Kah! Assholes. What a night we have. Sorry, but I have to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like or a comment. See you in the next part of Witcher 3. Forza! Yako Flores out!